Hey guys, welcome to DevTech Finance. In this video, we would be learning about the term called stock split. So let's start the video. A stock split is a corporate action where the face value of the existing shares is reduced in a defined ratio. So many a times you must have heard that the shares which you own has been split by the company. So this usually reduces the face value of your shares and increases the number of the shares which you are uh, which you are having with uh, yourself so how does this take place so let's understand this with uh, an example for example a stock split of 1 is to 5 splits our existing share into 5 share so if a stock split happens happened in the ratio of 1 is to 5 it means that one share which you are owning that would be divided into 5 shares now it's not like you have been provided extra four shares. It would be like you, uh, yes, you have increased the number of your shares, but the value of your share has been decreased. So as it has been mentioned that accordingly, the face value of the shares will go down to one fifth, the original face value. So the overall value remains the same only to provide more liquidity. Now the number of shares has been increased by reducing its uh, stock price by reducing its market price. So if an investor holds 100 shares of a company with the face value of rupees 10 each, a stock split in the ratio of 1 is to 5 will increase the number of shares held by the investor to 500, but the face value of each share will reduce and go down to rupees 2. So uh, uh, another example is like if you are holding 100 shares and the stock split happen in the ratio 1 is to 5, it means for every one share, you your it would now be divided into 5 shares. So if you are having 100, it would now be 100 into 5, that is 500. But the face value, before face value of one share was rupees 10, but after the stock split happened, the face value has reduced 5 times. So 10 by 5, it would be rupees 2 now. So overall value remains the same, overall uh, market value of uh, the total shares in the market remains the same only the number of shares has been increased by reducing the price of each share now from the company's perspective there is no change in its share capital since an increase in the number of shares is offset by a fall in the face value so as i said from company's perspective the share capital whatever shares are number of outstanding shares in the market that is not changing the value remains the same only you have divided your shares thus the number has been increased now companies consider a share split if the price of the shares in the secondary markets is seen to be very high and therefore restricting the participation by investor. So when a stock gets listed according to investors perception about that stock according to investors buying and selling sentiments the share price of that particular stock rises over the time also in accordance with company's performance and various other factors. Now when the time comes that the share price has reached and extremely high level so company feels like for this reason that the share price has increased so much it's uh, trading at an overrated value people are not uh, now losing their interest because they can't afford such a uh, highly priced share so companies decide that we will uh, split the share to reduce the value and make it more liquidity because if one share would be of le uh, lesser price people would tend to buy it and if the price would be higher they would be a little conscious in buying that particular share so uh, many a times this happen that companies uh, do this splitting just to uh, uh, just to motivate the investors to participate in their share uh, to participate in the market and to create more liquidity in the market a share split leads to greater liquidity in the market as i already mentioned a stock split has to be proposed by the board of directors of a company and approved by the shareholders the additional shares on account of the split get credited to the DMAT account of the shareholder. So the stock split decision has to be proposed by board of directors of the company. So the highest level of management is involved in this and the decision is taken only after the approval of the shareholders who are uh, having the shares after conducting a proper meeting and the additional shares on account of split get credited to the DMAT account of the shareholders. So after this stock split has been announced, you would be getting additional shares and the value of each share will be reduced. 
so thank you for watching i hope you understand this video do like and share my videos subscribe to my channel tape fake finance thank you all